-hmm. and then they go out and they win. And so we I had to take down the star off the top about of the being tree here. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's king. us. Send us somebody once a week. Mm -hmm. We can help. We have an open spot for them. 915 here. Lino, last hour we took a look at how some pillows can describe you and your sleeping habits. So we have some more pillows and sleep situations to take a look at okay. as well. All right. All right. So, how about a body pillow? Hey. All right. Do you have one of those? If you are, then you are sincere. You know what you like and need. While some might scoff at the idea of a body pillow, you scoff right back. You enjoy <laughs> a good cuddle in order to sleep, and that's it. Why change to fit someone else's idea of what's grown up or not? You recognize that life is just simply too short for that nonsense. This also is for all of us adults <laughs> who still have a cherished stuffed animal. Life is too short. The opposite of that copy you just read. <laughs> My wife um, had one of those when she was pregnant. I cut me down to like 13% yeah. of the bed is all I had. <laughs> King size or square or euro pillows. Oh. They're more I mean, sophisticated. You're confident. You think of yourself just a tad bit special more than others, even if you <laughs> won't admit it. You couldn't possibly accept a normal sized pillow when there are luxuriously oversized ones that turn shut eye into a pampering experience. You don't care that you have to buy the pillowcases from special sources. In fact, you're delighted that your pillows are so extraordinary, they demand a special buying process. Alternative pillows. We're talking about memory foam. Buckwheat pillows? That's fancy. Uh, yes. <laughs> but those mean that you are analytical. You're the oh. type of person who researches everything endlessly. You don't take any decision lightly. And for that matter, you're likely to cross check every purchase you make to get the best price. And at any moment, have too many browser tabs open on your computer as well as on your phone. I feel like I've been attacked. You <laughs> probably even could benefit or find the benefit of this acupressure pillow. Yes. It is a real thing. Ooh, tell me more and tell me slow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, there's also the no pillows option, like no Weirdo. pillows at Psychopath. all. Psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And if that's you, you, my friend, are an individualist. Believe it or not, <laughs> there are people who sleep without any sort of pillow, and they're not shy about it either. Mm -hmm. If you take an alternative approach by resting sans pillow or even so mixing nice. a mattress for a mat. There's likely a fascinating reason behind it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Dexter, no pillow. Yeah. Joe from you, no pillows. Oh. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I don't know for a fact, but if you don't have so a pillow. So basically, if you're dating somebody, you get to their house uh -huh. and they have no pillow, run. 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 <laughs> run. Yeah. Unless you want to become their next pillow. Now let's yeah. see, uh, let's try to see how oh. Lori Wallace's pillow situation matches up to her personality. So she oh. has. Hmm. Oh, a look bunch at, of pillows. Yeah. So this is fancy ones. Fancy too. decorative. You see the the white one, the very you know fluff, furry one. Wow. She um, mm -hmm. she lives in a hotel. I know. <laughs> she lives at the Standard <laughs> in West Hollywood. So is that like a bunch of pillows? Let's see. Uh, that would one, be one, three, two, four. three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so decorative pillow plus a handful of bed pillows. You are generous. And is that a muppet along the top there? That white thing? That white you one? know what? Her dogs are so big. I know. It probably is a dog. Probably is a dog. Yeah. Okay, and then <laughs> here's my pillow. Okay, let's see. It's a sad, sad pillow. Look at. Oh, it. oh. Now, this is in the napping room. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And but it's, it's just very, the one. Yeah, it's just one. It's very thin. It's. I mean, Cody lives in a hostel. That means you're yeah. practical. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't. Sure. It just means I'm sad, and I've been <laughs> told I was snoring, so I have to go in the other room. Oh, don't give my wife any ideas. She's going to kick me out of the bedroom, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So there you go, your pillow personality this morning. Now, here's the thing. Uh, um, whether you're watching a British zombie movie yeah. or a dystopian superhero science fiction drama, your head is sure to be uh, on that sad, sad pillow as you consume it all. However, oh. you won't see this in the version of Cats. No, because... Of any reviews or word of mouth, because it's a fear. You're afraid to see the live action oh. film adaptation of Cats. Cats is scary. Hey. Just admit it. Hey. Mr. Mistopheles haunts your dreams, Cody Stark says. <laughs> <laughs> I will yeah, see yeah, Cats. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing okay. Cats. I feel like there was something else going on. There, there. was. Yeah, well, okay. Angelo and I have been trying to make a date. Our, Angelo's our, our producer in our year. producer this hour.